Hello, I'm Claudia from Harmade.es and in this video tutorial I want to show you a new tool I just discovered and it's saving so much time when designing patterns. So if you're here you might have watched my previous video on how to design patterns with Photoshop and although I still use that system for some patterns this new tool I'm gonna show you right now it can save you a lot of time and it can be very very easy to use and very handy to have when you want to design patterns quickly. So here we go. The pattern I'm going to create, I'm going to be using my set of watercolor paintings from my creative market. I will give you the link in case you want to download it. And this is the Dark Wedding Soft Flowers. So I have a set of flowers, a set of leaves and these extra wildflowers. And what I want to show you is this seamless pattern fix for Photoshop by Pink Coffee. So she has coded these actions for Photoshop. And if you don't know what actions are, you will now be so surprised because actions is one of the things I use the most for both Photoshop and Illustrator. And it's the best way to save time so that you can record some processes that you use all the time and it gets saved into your Photoshop or into your Illustrator so that from now on the only thing you need to do is press a button and it will do it automatically for you. So imagine you have a hundred files and you want to do the same edits for all of them. What you will use is an action. You will record the process and then you will press play and it will do it for the hundred files all at once. Okay, so now this is the package and it includes a guide on how to install it and it includes also some tips on how to use these actions. But I'm going to do this quick video to show you how you can do it. So all you need to do is open this file, select these actions and drag them into your Photoshop. And then directly you go to actions which you can find also under window actions. And here you have all these actions that she designed. So. If we, so all these actions here on the top are my own actions and from here it's there. So it's this one, rotate and reflect, seamless pattern, etc. We can change it, clicking here to button mode and it's much easier to see it like this. Now I'm gonna create a new file. I'm gonna name it quick pattern. I'm gonna set it up to 5000 by 5000 and 300 of resolution and I'm gonna start by painting a background so that I can see what I'm working on. Now all I need to do is drop here all the elements I'm gonna be using so I will select them all and drag them here directly and press intro so that they come with the original size and then I will scale them and organize them as I told you in the other tutorial. So I will select them all pressing shift and then with the right button I will rasterize the layers so that it's less heavy and I will press command T to scale them down. Now once I have them at a size that I want, I will separate them to see them all. Remember that to do this, you need to have here auto select layer like that. Every time you press over something, it auto selects that layer. Okay, and now that I have all my elements separated. I'm going to start combining them. So for instance, I want this with this one. So I'm going to rearrange the order of the leaves. I'm going to take all my flowers up. I'm doing this quickly because I just want, I want to show you how her action works. So this is not a detailed tutorial on how to work with Photoshop but instead it's more a tutorial on how to do quick patterns. Okay, so now imagine we have this and we start 
moving them around. And if you remember, in my other tutorial, what I recommend you is that, that you don't have any elements going out of your canvas. But with this tool, you can work and you have to work having elements out of your canvas. So let's talk about this group. We put it here, right? Okay. And now we go into actions and we will start using them. So I'm going to start with, if you want a seamless pattern, you know that this side here has to continue exactly at the same pixel here. So to do it, you can use this and you can move until you find the one that says copy to edge. And you will want to use the copy to right. So you have it here on the left and you want to move it to the right. So you will press over it and press copy to right. And automatically it copies the exact pixel location into the right area. And now you see that this here is going to the top. So you could use the same copy down so that it copies it here, but you will want it to continue around here too, even though it's transparent. So what you can do when you have something in the corner, and I'm gonna delete this layer and this one to show you better. So imagine you have this and instead of having it here, you have it here, right? Oops, I have two layers, so I'm gonna delete the one in the background. Okay, so you know this is cutting in both sides, in left and top. So all you need to do is press the element and instead of using the copy to edge area, you want to use the corner fix. So from where you want, you have it on the top left, right? So from top left, you press and automatically it will duplicate it here, right, bottom and bottom left. So all you have here, it's a very quick way to create seamless patterns. Now let's continue and imagine you want to duplicate this. I'm going to do Command J to duplicate it. And instead of pressing all time Command T and rotating it freedomly, you can even use her rotation um, actions. So you can rotate 90 degrees, you can reflect horizontally for instance okay so you can use all these and now let's have this here so we have it here going to the top and it's cutting here on the top so we want to duplicate it down so we want to go again to copy to edge and copy it down and there we go and that's super quick you will see now i'm gonna um pass this fast so that you can see how I finish the whole pattern. But using this set of actions, you see how easy it is. Before moving it fast, I want to show you the last one. So imagine you have this here, okay, you have it here, and you want to move it to one side. You can move it by 50% to the right, for instance, or you can move it by 25% to the left. So she has really been very careful in designing this set of actions and I recommend you to go get them because they really save a lot of time. And now that we have all the pattern design, she even has another great action, which is to preview how this pattern would look like once we repeat it seamlessly. So to do it, I recommend you to turn off your background layer. So I will unblock it and delete it. And now you can come back to the actions panel and you can find the section that says preview repeat and test it. For instance, if we want to preview it at 25%, we will press here. It will take the time she needs to create the preview. And there we have it in a new document and with a background 
color which we can open and edit and test how this pattern looks with different tones. Amazing, right? Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial and I can't wait to see your designs and hear your comments. As always, please write down below here in the video what do you think about it and you will find all the links you need under the description. So see you next week and have a nice day!